reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most developed student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our lesson today, which is an introduction to multiplication and division. So when we're talking about multiplication and division, there are certain concepts that you must bear in mind, and we're going to look at those concepts. Now, the first thing that you need to be aware or you need to know already, whenever you are dealing with multiplication and division of fractions, you need to know that the top part is called the denominator as well as the bottom I mean the top part is called the numerator and then the bottom part is called the denominator so this is the denominator and that is the numerator so in when you're dealing with fractions you need to bear that in mind as well as when we are dealing with multiplication or division the concepts are usually related but uh, with a slight difference let us start with the multiplication of a fraction now if I can pull out my calculator and work from what I'm given it says 3 over 4 times 8 over 9 or so what am I having here the answer is 2 over 3 so if I can write it on this side as my 2 over 3 we're going to work and prove that and the second one, if I can also bring my calculator on the division, I'm given 3 over 4. This time it is divided by 9 over 8. And my answer again, it is 2 over 3. So now let us prove these two answers by working using the concepts when you are multiplying and when you are dividing. So now the first one is 3 over 4 times 8 over 9. Whenever we are multiplying, you have to check across whether they are cancelling. If they are cancelling across, you can cancel. And then you multiply in this direction. So you multiply horizontally, you cancel across. So now let us start by that. We can see that 3 can get into 9. How many times? 3 times. And we can see that 4 can get into 8 2 times. So now what you are left with, you are left with 1 on the first part. 1 over 1 times 2 over 3. So in this case, you are multiplying 1 times 2. You are multiplying the top and the bottom over 1 times a 3 and that's why we got the answer as 2 over 3 and the same concept also applies whenever we are dividing now you cannot divide uh, without uh, when you're not using a calculator you have to change the division sign into a multiplication sign first so what you do is you have to write it as 3 over 4 now you introduce a multiplication sign. When you introduce a multiplication a multiplication sign, you have to invert the second fraction. In other ways, the 8 will go on top and the 9 will come below. So now you'll be having 8 over 9. From now, in this moment, you can now do the same previous example that we did with the multiplication. The 3 will cancel the 9 and the 4 goes into 8 2 times and then the answer also is 2 over a 3. Don't forget when you are moving from the divided to the multiplication if you had a over b divided by c over x you will be now having a over b times the moment you introduce a multiplication sign then you take the x on top and the c below and then this further becomes you multiply horizontally which is ax 
over your multiply horizontally p times c which is pc so don't forget that concept now let us move on to look at the example that is given when you're multiplying so you are given x over 4 times 2y over 3x you can see that the x goes in horizontal i mean diagonally it will cancel the x and then the 2 goes into 4 2 times so you are left with 1 over 2 times y over 3 and then if you multiply 1 times y you have got y over 2 times 3 is a 6 so that's how you go about it so the second one also you are given x over 4 divided by 3x over 2y so we cannot work with the division sign directly so what we need to do is to first invert it by introducing a multiplication sign so that the 2y will go on top and the 3x will go below so if you have that then maybe doing it in another way instead of cancelling some they prefer to first multiply across some they first prefer to multiply you can multiply like that it's still fine whereby you'll have x and 2y all over 4 and 3x still fine you can work it like that now you can start the cancelling part whereby the x will cancel the x and the 2 will cancel the 4 to remain with the 2 so at the end of the day what you'll be having here you can see when you're cancelling 1 was remaining you only got a y all over and then there is a 2 and a 3 which is multiplying 2 times 3 is a 6 so it is y over 6 so this is the concept of multiplication as well as division now we've come to the end of our lesson join us again in our more problems on multiplication and division of fractions thank you Reaching out, reaching out is the proof of